Hey, what's going on, guys? Jack here, back in my video, and today we are gonna be reviewing the best application for a student who is learning or enrolling into computer science or just you know having a basic computer class in school. The best one that I would recommend is Sublime Text Tree. So let's have a look at it. Alright, this is a special video because this is my first ever video in 2017. And and hold on, hold on. This is my first ever PC video with a act with like a okay webcam and okay sound. Not like not not like the previous laptop that I uh, that my father owned that was That will be left for another video, but now what you wanna know is that I am sick, so my voice will sound like weird and all. I mean, not that it doesn't sound weird normally, it's weirder than usual. And I'll. <coughs> just wait, I've been coughing a lot just like that, so bear with me, guys. Alright, so we're gonna be reviewing Sublime Text Tree. As you can see, it's moving, uh, my mouse is moving here, my cursor. So as you can see, uh, Sublime Text Tree is right here, the app that we are reviewing. Now, it's really simple to install Sublime Text Tree. All you have to do is open your favorite browsing application and what you want to do is type sublime text 3 or just sublime text it doesn't really matter and wait for it to load because I have slow internet and I'm actually download something downloading something not download something please grammar <laughs> or English all right now we want to click on the first link which uh, says sublime text download sorry if I'm speaking too fast it's, it's just normal I'll try to slow down <laughs> Let it load here. As you can see here, so the text tree, download, blah blah blah. What you wanna do is just hit Windows 64 bit. You can you can just hit that and you can download it. It's pretty simple. And, and I can guarantee you it's completely virus safe. And for prolonged use, you have to register for uh, you have to like purchase a key or something like that. There's illegitimate maze ways, but I don't really recommend them. So why do I recommend Sublime Text Tree for students and uh, people rolling in, uh, enrolling in basic computer science? Because you're not gonna really be compiling a lot of stuff. So to do like quick edits, Sublime Text Tree is great. So for me, I am now in year eight, middle school, or secondary as you call it. I am learning HTML coding. So I'll fire up Sublime Text Tree. As you can see, it was super fast. It just let, let just snap, and then it was open. Let's do it again, alright? So, in 3, 2, 1, I'll hit enter, alright? 3, 2, 1. Snap. It's, it's a snap. I actually hit a key, so Windows saw popped up, but doesn't matter. It, it, it just snap like that, it just turns on. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, at the, bo at the bottom right section, there's this, like, uh, there's this thing here. It usually would say, uh, hold on. Where is it? Plain text. It, it, it would, when you download it, you installed it, it would just say plain text. So, since I'm doing HTML, I'll try and find HTML here. It's under Haskell or Haskell. So, this is really good because you can just, it has a lot of flexibilities and it has auto complete. So, one of my favorite functions is this. Alright. So, since I'm learning HTML, the basic stuff it kind of got down, it's kind of like just dot type html uh, html if i can even type and then you wanna do that you know the, the same old same old it's just super slow but then what someone text helps you to do is to just type html you don't even have to do anything else hit the tab button the button uh, this button right here the tab tab so you just wanna hit that and look at that it just auto completes alright i'll do it again HTML, all right. Look at this. I'll hit tab in three, two, one. Oh, there we go. So I'll do it again. Just type HTML. I look at this. This is the tab button. Three, two, one. There we go. If you take a long time to do it, let's say like I just wait for a long time. I'll hit it. I'll hit it once, but then it won't work. I have to hit it again. Look at that. But then if you do it fast, oh, yeah, I'm blurry if I can even spell. Duh. So that will happen. Just HTML and then you're done. If, it, if you type HTML and you click tab, it doesn't work on the first time. Just click it again, then it'll work. So here I can just 
type uh just type away the code. You know, don't, you don't need to worry about the boring stuff. And if you type P for the paragraph command, you press tab again, it will just auto complete. This is some text. And I can even add some headers. So uh, this is an example for the oh gosh. I don't have enough keyboard for this for YouTube. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry again. So uh, all right, here I'll just hit Control and S, save it. Desktop, I'll save it as first. HTML. This one you can just close it. And one thing to mention is, let's say here I open a new file, and let's say, uh, let's say I don't even save it. Look, I'm not saving this file. I'm just gonna close it, alright? Even though if you shut down or anything, you turn it, you open it back up, it's gonna be there. And let me show you. I close this. It's not gonna be uh, in your task manager anymore. Look at that. It's not. It's not in your task manager anymore. You you can't see Sublime Text. And then if you open it back up, it's right there. Of course, if you delete Sublime Text, it's gonna be gone. But if you did, if let's say you shut down your computer and you didn't manage to save your code, but then. You know, it was long work. It doesn't matter. It was saved temporarily, like in your hard drive or something like that. I'm not sure how this works, but it will save until you delete your sublime text or save the file, I guess. See, new file has been modified. Save changes. See, they didn't even save. So I just hit no to delete that. And hold on. There we go. First, this is the HTML file that we just made. So I'm gonna go to properties because. What's Microsoft Edge? Come on. Alright, Firefox, apply that. <coughs> Excuse me. This is an example for YouTube. This is some text. As you can see, in Sublime Text, it matches exactly that. So if I go over here, doc type HTML, HTML, header, uh, head, and then title, example, documents. Text, uh, uh, example document, and then here it says example document. Look, it's just like that. This is an example for YouTube. Yeah, they're here, the header. This subtext, this subtext is it's easy, just like that. And it's done. It's a so this is why I really like Sublime Text Tree. First of all, it's lightweight, it's super portable. There's a version of it where you can just have a flash drive and it can go anywhere so if your school allows it you can just plug your hard drive in and then you can just show off to everybody like uh, if your teacher just says alright students now just type in the basic coding you need to start a HTML document you just type in HTML and be like teacher I'm done and every and everybody will just look at you like what? how, how do you what? I would be like, yeah, oh, damn, and I give it no damn. Well, this is why I prefer some of text, but there's one thing with it. Let's say I I also learned a bit of C plus uh, plus. So let's say I do you know the the basic stuff you know here I O stream. All right, so let's say I just do a basic C out. This is some text. Note that I haven't done C plus plus in months. This is a text, I'm not sure if I have to add that or not. I I think that you need to add that. You can't compile the files. You need Microsoft Visual Studio or um, compile like code blocks or brackets, Adobe brackets, but... I, I Wait, actually, I'm not sure if Adobe brackets even compiles files. I, but Visual Studio does uh, work with uh, pretty much any programming language that you selected when you were on the installation. I'm not gonna be installing that. It took me like eight hours to finish. It. Look, yeah, it took me about eight hours to finish down the whole thing. I was like, oh my gosh! It started from morning until eight p.m. in the night. Then that's all. That's more than eight hours. So if I hit F5, nothing's gonna happen. Not like Visual Studio. So it can't compile. I mean, you can if you do some funny stuff, like funky stuff with the settings and all. But I don't want to mess with that too much. I don't want to break my game. I'm not bad game. I don't want to get uh, break my uh, something text application. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that down below, subscribe my content, and I will see you all in the next video. And goodbye.